In this video, I'll be solving a problem taken from the book Burton, exercise 4.2 and this is problem number 11. Problems number 1 to 10 of this exercise 4.2 I've already solved in my last video, link added in description. So let's have a look what is problem number 11. This question asks verify that 0, 1, 2, 2 square, 2 cube up to 2 to the power 9. This form a complete set of residue modulo 11 but this set do not form. So we just we need to verify that this forms complete set of residue. In my last videos, I have already defined what is complete set of residue. Let us quickly recall that. Uh, I'll take a simple example to explain you what is complete set of residue. Let us say I want to verify with respect to mod 3. Now, if we consider the set of integers, we know these are minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. When we say that I want to divide this integers with respect to mod 3, then we can get three classes, one which will go into the class of 0, which means any number whenever it is divisible by 3, it leaves the remainder 0. Then you can have a class of 1, whenever you divide an integer by 3, it leaves a remainder 1 and then you can take the remainder as 2. So for 0, you will have all integers 0, 3, 6, 9 and so on. Since you divide the positive integers 3, 6, 9 and then on this side you will have the integers like minus 3, minus 6, minus 9 and so on. These are the numbers which are divisible by 3. And then when, whenever you all put up some integers into this class, these are the numbers uh, when divided by 3, they leaves divided by 3 leaves remainder 1. So this leaves remainder 1. 1 and similarly in this class whenever it, you are dividing it by 3 it leaves the remainder 2 so for this class we can see easily that these are the numbers and if we see all these classes together we see that all integers are covered here 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and so on all integers are coming similarly minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 minus 6 so all integers are covered in these three classes so now if you take any integer n and then we say this is congruent to dash modulo 3 this means either this quantity will be either this is a 0 1 or 2 so any of these choices will come in the reduced form in fact this set so we can say the set 0 1 2 this is known actually as least set of residue because these are the least possible positive uh, or you can say non-negative choices with respect to mod 3. Now let's take any other set. For example, I'll take 6, 7 and 8. Okay. Now we just have to see whether this is a complete set of residue or not. To be a complete set of residue, we need to check simple three conditions. One, that there should be number of element which uh, is equal to this count as we have calculated the count uh, in this set. Th these are three numbers. So if I am checking the complete set of residue, we can write it at CSR with respect to mod 3. There should be three element in the set which are there, three elements. And none of the elements should be congruent to each other. Or we can say that each element should be congruent to 0, 1, 2, only one value. Now we can see that 6 is congruent to 0 mod 3. 6 is fully divisible by 3. So we can say 6 is congruent to 0 mod 3. We can recall how did we have said A is congruent to B mod N whenever N divides A minus B. This was the definition for the congruent. I have added this in my previous video. Link added in description. 7 is congruent to 1 mod 3 because if you take this one on the other side 7 minus 1 that is 6 which is divisible by 3 then you look at it 8 8 is congruent to 2 mod 3 now this we can say as a complete set of residue mod 3 now the same thing we need to check in our question we want to verify whether this given set is a complete set of residue with respect to mod 11 or not we can easily see the, these are 11 elements and we just need to check none of them are congruent to each other or each of them is congruent to the number 0 to 10 so this we will verify so now we will check this set is a complete set of residue mod 11 or not 0 is congruent to 0 mod 11 which is fine 1 is congruent to 1 mod 11 we can write it 2 raised to power 1 which is congruent to 2 2 square this is congruent to 4 mod 11 
so we can keep on checking and none of the number on this side should repeat if if this number is repeating that that means any two elements are congruent to each other if they are congruent to each other then this will not form a complete set of residues then 2 cube this is 8 mod 11 then we can say 2 to the power 4 this is 16 now 16 is larger than 11 so reduce it or you can say divide it by 11 and then check what is the remainder so this is remainder is 5 so this is 5 mod 11 then we can see 2 to the power 5 2 to the power 5 is 32 32 is congruent to minus 1 this is congruent to 10 mod 11 i just wanted to note it down what is the positive term here so first there are many ways to write down this you can directly write down uh, congruent to 10 or you can simply say that 11 divides 33 so first i have written this congruent to minus 1 because if i take this onto this side it will become 33 11 divides 33 and we know that minus 1 is congruent to 10 so it is easy to solve the congruences like this one uh, then 2 to the power 6 which is congruent to 64 64 is congruent to minus 2 again 6 to make 66 i have written it minus 2 and then to make it 11 i write minus 2 is congruent to 9 mod 11 you can even try you can simply uh for this you can take 2 to the power 3 is congruent to 8 this we have calculated here and then you can even raise to power on both side you get 8 square that is also 64 this is congruent to 9 mod 11 so we get the same result there are no unique ways i mean you can of course try any other way whichever comes in your mind and in fact congruences are interesting to solve and we always look what is the fastest way to solve these one then 2 to the power 7 so for 2 to the power 7 what i will do i'll take 2 to the power 6 into 2 so this is 2 to the power 7 and 2 to the power 6 i've already checked this is congruent to 9 so this i'm replacing it by 9 and then i have 2 9 into 2 this is 18 18 is congruent to 7 mod 11 then 2 to the power 8 on the similar lines 2 to the power 6 into 2 which is congruent to uh sorry and then this is congruent to 2 to the power 6 is congruent to 9 into 4 that is 36 36 is congruent to plus 3 mod 11 and then we'll check 2 to the power 9 on the similar line 2 to the power 8 into 2 this is congruent to 3 into 2 and this is congruent to 6 mod 11 and so we notice that this set is congruent to 0 1 2 4 and none of these numbers are repeating in all the expected numbers are coming these are total 11 number and 0 to 10 all remainders are coming so we are going to conclude so this form complete set of residue next we need to verify 0 1 square 2 square 3 square up to 10 square do not form complete set of residue mod 11 so similar process i'm going to do look at 0 0 is congruent to 0 mod 11 then you got 1 square 1 square is congruent to 1 mod 11 then we got 2 square which is congruent to 4 mod 11 and then we got 3 square that is 9 so this is congruent to 9 mod 11 it's still less than 11 so we will keep this in the remainder form only then we got 4 square 4 square is 16 16 is congruent to 5 mod 11 and then we take 5 square 5 square is 25 25 is congruent to 3 because if you subtract 25 minus 3 we got 22 and this is divisible by 11 then we got 6 square this is 36 36 is congruent to 3 mod 11 now you see that this number is repeating so here also you got 3 here also you got 3 so this means 5 square is congruent to 6 square mod 11 so this violates this violates the condition of complete system of residue because to be a complete system of residue none of the element in the set should be congruent to each other so basically this should represent the all classes so considering that all integers are going in the modulo 11 classes so if you take any integer as i've explained in the case of this case for the mod 3 so this means the whole integer set is divided into only these three classes or you can take these three classes all the integers are either congruent to 6 or 7 or 8. So the class should be complete. So this is where this condition is violated. And so we say that this do not form a complete set of residue mod 11. Now I leave this video here and I encourage you to solve the next question 12. Meanwhile, you can try it. If you cannot solve it up, watch that in my next video.